Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be taking a quick look at the task Scrap Metal, given by Peacekeeper, and where to find the three tanks you're required to mark as part of this task. All three of these tanks are found on Shoreline. I'd recommend placing the markers you'll need in your container so that you don't lose them if you happen to die whilst trying to complete your task. You can buy these markers from Prapor if you'd rather not use your container space. The first of the three tanks is located in the village near to the tunnel extract location. There's quite a few spawns in this area so you might be lucky enough to spawn on this side of the map and be able to get this one marked early. Just be wary of other players spawning in the same area as you. Later in the raid you usually don't have much trouble with players being in this area but there are patrolling scavs that you'll need to watch out for. The second tank is located at the bunker by the river crossing, which is just beside the rock passage extract. You could even use this extract for a quick getaway if this ends up being the last tank that you have to mark, or if you're in a bad way after getting into a few fights. This tank is quite often host to a gang of scavs, as well as a scav on top of the rocks with a sniper weapon. So watch out for that and make sure to clear out the area before you move in to mark the tank. You'll notice I spend a lot of time looking at the far ridge line as well, which is a common spot for players to be lying in wait for people heading for the rock passage extract, so keep an eye on that too. Lastly, the third tank is located just past the power station on the road, leading towards the weather station. There's a small bridge here, and you'll see the tank is hanging just over one side. Mark this one and you're good to go. All three tanks marked. It's worth noting that you'll also need to leave the raider alive after marking these tanks. So don't try anything like killing yourself early with a grenade just to try and get the task done faster. It won't work and you'll need to run the raid back again just to leave alive. Once all of this is done, you can leave the raid safely. It's worth noting that you can do these in separate raids if you'd like to and they don't need to be done in one single run. So you can take your time if you'd like to. Don't feel like you need to mark them all when you've been in a couple of fights and you're carrying some decent loot, for example. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for some more Tarkov content. I also stream on Twitch at 2.30pm until 8.30pm on weekdays and 8pm until midnight on weekends. So I hope to see you soon guys and take care.